Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to Vlogmas, and I'm so excited to just continue doing this. I sound like a little weirdo, but right before I started Vlogmas, I kind of took like a six-day break, which sounds crazy, but that's actually like a very long time for me. And now I feel like because I took that little break before I started this, it was very nice to just be able to dive in and film every single day like I've been doing. So I hope you guys will stick along for the journey. So make sure you're subscribed, but I am currently just getting ready for work. I ate breakfast a little while ago. I had a rice cake with peanut butter and banana and then just did some tidying up. I am loving the TV stand in the living room, you guys. The room just feels finished aside from the blank walls, which we are going to take care of, but it just, it feels like home and I just absolutely love that about it. So I am going into the office this morning. It's around 8.15 right now and I'm planning to leave at 8.30 and then get into the office around 9. So most people actually show up between like 9.30 and 10, um, but I like to get there a little bit earlier and then sometimes just take a shorter lunch so that I can still leave at a reasonable time. But last night, the subways were an absolute zoo. Um, one of them came and I couldn't even get on it. And then the second one came and it was also just as crowded as the one right before it. And usually the first one's really crowded because everyone doesn't believe that there's another train coming. And then another one came and it was so like we were stuffed in there. And then I ended up being able to get a seat like pretty early, which was nice because I do have around like a 15 minute ride, which is honestly so quick. And if you guys have been here since the commuting to New Jersey days, I'm just really grateful for this commute in general. Um, but yeah, so last night was a little bit crazy. So it might be nice for me to stay at the office a little bit later anyway, and just take a later train home so that I'm not stuck in the middle of all of these people. Um, but I also think it's because I ended up going into work on a Wednesday and I don't think I've gone into the office on a Wednesday since I started this job. And I think that if people have the opportunity to like only have to go into the office one day, they'll pick Wednesday so that they have like those two days on the ends of the week to like buffer their weekend. So I just think it was just a little bit more crowded because of that. And someone on the subway, this lady goes, everyone has to go back to working at home or something. Like she was just making a joke because there were so many freaking people. <laughs> it was insane, but got home safe and sound. You guys saw that we put the lights on the tree. We set up the TV stand and honestly, I'm very impressed with the fact that like the furniture is so easy to build these days. I think it took me and my boyfriend like an hour and 15 minutes. Amanda offered to help, but she is definitely, and she like admits this herself, she's not the most savvy when it comes to furniture building. So her boyfriend usually helps her, but I actually quite enjoy it because I feel like it gives you a sense of satisfaction when you look at it at the end and you're like, oh my God, I actually built that. And it looks really cute in the living room. It opens up the space so much. I was very surprised by that. I thought it would make the space look more cluttered because I feel like when you add in furniture, it's like taking away space, but it looks amazing. I'm so happy about it. Um, I linked it in my last video, but I can link it in this one for you guys too, just in case you're interested. I think it was like, it was less than $200, which is crazy. And it's really, really good quality, I have to say. The only part that's flimsy is like the back part that kind of like seals it off, but like you never even touch that part. So um, yeah, I'm very impressed with it. And it was just super easy to build without me having to like, I don't know, they were charging $111 to have someone come build it. And I was like, mm, absolutely not. So I just did it myself and it worked out really well. And yeah, so we are starting a new day honestly you guys going to ralph's yesterday i'm like afraid that i'm gonna want to go every day especially when they have the holiday cups <laughs> like i'm sure in january and february when they don't have them anymore i'm gonna be like oh whatever it's fine but i enjoyed going up there so much yesterday it was such a nice like i mean my coworkers thought it was crazy for walking up there they were like what do you mean you just walked up to ralph's i'm like it's actually not that far. And for someone who like sits at a desk all day, I loved getting out and being able to just like have a really nice long walk. Cause it was about 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back. And it was just like lovely. And it was misting. It was like disgusting weather, but I still enjoyed myself. So that's when you know. 
but I'm going to try to not go there today um, because we can't be going there every single day. Even though if that was like the only money I spent per day, I wouldn't be so mad about it because the coffee's amazing. That's one of those things with um, spots in New York City. You think that the touristy spots are always going to be like bad, but I have to say like Ralph's is something that I think is a little bit touristy just because honestly, they just did a good job with their store design and it's like a really nice experience to be in there. So if that means it's going to be touristy, then so be it. I feel like they definitely deserve the foot traffic and the coffee's amazing. So I've had basically every type of coffee. I've had cold brew, lattes, hot, cold, sweet and unsweet and all that kind of stuff. I haven't had their matcha yet, um, but people say it's really good. So yeah, all in all, very happy about that. And now we have another day at the office. So I'm just going to finish up my makeup quickly. No sense in you guys watching me poke myself in the eye while I put on mascara. And then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing right before we leave. I also need to put earrings in because I feel naked without earrings. It's like the weirdest thing ever. Um, but yeah, so I'll finish getting ready and then show you guys my work outfit and then we'll head up to the office. All right, so I might be underestimating the weather a little bit, but this is what I'm gonna wear to work today. This sweater is a cashmere sweater from State Cashmere, did not remember, so just checked. <laughs> um, it's sad that I didn't remember that and just had to check my tag, but it's just like a plain black cardigan. I feel like it's very classic, very good for work, and I just kind of like buttoned it up until the last one to make it look a little bit more relaxed on both sides. I took off my necklace because I feel like I want it to look a little bit more simple, and I popped in these earrings from Heart Made of Gold. I don't even want to get too close to the mirror because you guys can see the dust. Um, and then my trousers are these Zara straight leg, or not straight leg, cigarette leg trousers. These I wear once a week at least, at least. And I only go into the office like three or four times a week. So that says a lot. And these were actually in the top of my laundry bag. And I feel like they just knew that I was going to have to wear these today. So that was really nice because I didn't have to dig through the entire bag of folded laundry in order to find them. And then my shoes are um, YSL loafers. These are obviously pricey because they're Saint Laurent, but at the same time, they're the most comfortable pair of loafers I've ever had. They're kind of like a penny loafer style. And yeah, so I feel like a store associate when I wear all black like this, or, or I always joke that I look like a Zara employee, but it's just very classic and simple and comfortable. So I'm gonna throw on my camel coat that you guys see on the bed here, but it's like a knit coat again. It's gonna be like 50 degrees today. so. I feel like that's not cold enough for me to wear like an actual like winter coat, but we'll see once I get it out there if I'm freezing my butt off. But I'm gonna take a scarf with me, I think just in case for some extra warmth. And yeah, so let's head up to the Upper East Side. Okay, so I just stopped at Birch Coffee on my way in and got myself this ginormous latte. I was like, yeah, I'll take the large size. We'll get caramel, all the things. It was $9. nine dollars and she was like do you want to start a punch card and i was like i cracked and i was like yeah of course i need a punch card i'm never going there again i went two blocks out of the way going to work to get this <laughs> literally ten dollars So I just walked in the door from work and the second I got in here, I made a plate of nachos because I was starving, but that was my own fault because I did the most psychotic thing. And I'm gonna tell you guys what it is. So I was at work and I was doing like my daily inspo post that I put on my story. And I put up this picture of this girl wearing like a really cool blazer. I hadn't seen her account before. This was from my explore page. And I kind of <laughs> wrote a little like caption that said like, why is H&M like so terrible in the United States and in like Europe and England, they have the best blazers, the best knits, coats, like 
it's so, so good. And anytime I watch like a European or British person's vlog, which like most of the people that I watch on YouTube are British, I can never get the stuff that they have. Like it always says like this product's not available in your region, happens with Zara. And I'm like, why do we get the cheesiness and <laughs> all the other countries get the good stuff? And it's probably because Americans like cheesy things. But <laughs> anyway. I ended up seeing the blazer. A bunch of people were DMing me, agreeing, saying like, this is so true. I was just thinking this, all that stuff. And then I had one of my friends, Olivia, DM me and say, like, this is so true, but Herald Squares H&M has the best stock. So letting you guys know, if you come to New York and you shop here, go to the Herald Square H&M. I'm fully on board with it now. Um, and she was like, I think they had this blazer in stock if I'm not mistaken. So. I got a little crazy and that blazer was all I was thinking about, but I was like, let me try and see if I can find it at the H&M that's near my work. So I went to the one, I walked through Fifth Ave, herds of people, tourists on tourists, the Fifth Ave like light show was playing on Saks Fifth Avenue and it was like a bunch of like crowds of people just like staring up at the lights. And I was like, oh my goodness, I just need to get to H&M. Like I've seen this before. <laughs> which is really terrible. It's like a really nice and pretty experience. I just was on a mission. So I get to the H&M on 47th street. The stock was trash. Um, <laughs> I literally went up to the second floor and I was like, oh my goodness, this is like, I don't even know. Like it just looked like a teeny bopper nightmare basically. And then I went up to the top floor and was in H&M home for like 40 minutes. So even though the clothing stock wasn't that great, there was a sweater that I was looking at, but I didn't end up picking it up because I have one that's a little bit similar, just in a different color. Um, but I was at H&M home for such a long time and that was so, so good. Like everyone is always raving about H&M home and I'm like, now I know why. They have literally everything. I got such cute stuff. I'm going to show you guys everything. Um, but I really scored in the H&M home department there then the psychotic behavior continued and I went down to the Herald Square H&M and they had the blazer I got the last extra small um the girl in front of me picked up an extra small and I was like if I need an extra small and that was the last one I'm gonna be annoyed but I would probably still get it and I picked up this extra small small took them both and tried them on in the fitting room and I ended up going with the extra small so I'm crazy, but it works. And now I have this blazer that I'm gonna show you guys. So I don't know what was going on today, but everything was ringing up on sale besides the blazer. So I ended, I'll show you the first like round of things that I got from the first location of H&M, which like I was carrying this around in my little dinky Nordstrom tote. Like I'm surprised this didn't snap. My work computer is in here. I have a keyboard in here and like all my other stuff. And I was carrying around this marble tray. So I got this in the first H&M location. I was, I picked this up three times off the shelf, like picked it up, put it down, picked it up, put it back down. And it was because it was $30. And I was like, I don't really know where I would use this. And that was my hesitation with it. So that's why I was like, oh, I think I'm just gonna leave it. Um, but then at the last second, I was like, listen, <laughs> this is me talking to myself in my head. Um, if you end up not liking, uh, like I could just return it. I don't know why I was thinking like, oh, this is all final sale. It's not, it's literally a normal store. So I was like, let me just pick it up. I'll lug it home. If I end up like not wanting to keep it, I could just return it. This rings up and it's $12. And I was like, okay, we're definitely keeping that. It is real marble. It says it on the back. My boyfriend doesn't believe me, but it was 12 bucks for a real slab of marble. And it kind of has, you can't tell, but um, there's like warm beige tones running through it with the gray. And I thought that was really pretty because you guys know how I love to mix like warm and cool tones. And I thought that would look really nice with like the colors that we already have in our living room. If we end up using it over here or on the shelves. So that was a must. And then this other one I was kind of not sure about literally wrapped it up in my scarf, but I saw this little pot and I thought this would be really cute to style up on the shelves. And that's basically my mentality when I went into the H&M home department. I was like, let me see if they have little things to dress up as shelves. And some of the stuff that I really liked, like there was this wooden like bowl on a pedestal and it would have looked really pretty on the shelf, but it was $30. And I was like, I'm not doing that, but I'll do $7. This was on sale. So I think we're just going to put some like faux baby's breath in here or like some sort of flowers and like, look how good these look together. 
like those colors um if you even want to call these colors <laughs> and then the last thing that i got actually not the last thing second to last thing that i got from the first round was this bowl so same idea but i figured this can go on like a table book or it can go next to like a stack of um table books i don't really know what we would put in here maybe matches and stuff for like different restaurants that we go to because i like to pick up matches when i go to places and this was originally ten dollars and it was on sale for seven also actually i think that ended up coming out to less than that then we got these little cute guys this was the last thing i got and these are little like um bows that you put on gifts and i thought these were stupid adorable i think they are bows for wrapping if i if i'm wrong that will be terrible because i bought literally like so many <laughs> i literally feel like my mom right now i don't know if anybody else's parents do this but like when they find something they like they'll like buy it and then it'll take them 10 years to like actually go through it but i'll have these by the time i'm how old am I now? 26. So when I'm 36, we'll check in to see if I still have some of the burgundy um, little bows. But honestly, I really did love these. I think they're a classy little touch to a present. And it's a little bit different and gives a little extra something. And I also love this burgundy color for Christmas as opposed to being like a cranberry red. I just think it looks really classy. Um, so that's everything I got from the first H&M. We then went into the second one and I found the blazer on the first floor. So it's kind of like this brushed wool material. It's very oversized. I, like I said, tried on the extra small and the small and I ended up going with a small. I'm not gonna try this on and everything because honestly, I don't even know if this is available online. If it is, I'm gonna put it in all caps in the description box with like stars next to it so you guys can find it because it's honestly a really, really gorgeous piece. It's $65 and I feel like it's just like, one of those things where I'm going to like put a little YSL pin on it and it's going to look really classy, but it didn't cost a lot. And those are my favorite pieces ever to add into my wardrobe as long as they won't fall apart. Um, so this one is 100% recycled polyester lining. The shell is recycled wool and recycled polyester. So thank you H&M for noticing that you have a terrible impact on the environment and they're actually doing something about it by recycling fibers. And it looks fabulous in this jacket. So absolutely love that. So happy I found it. Otherwise, I actually would have felt crazy. And I also would have been really pissed that I wasted my time going around to all the different H&Ms. And then we also went up to the home department in that store. So really good home selection in this one as well. The <coughs> Sorry. Only thing that I did not find there was this tray. So I'm really glad I got that. And they had everything else. Um, and then the first H&M didn't have these things. So Again, we're sticking with the theme of like dressing up a table. I got this little wooden um, oval tray. They do have one like this online, so I can link this for you guys. And I figured I could put my dip tea candle on it, some matches, and I don't know what else you would put on something like this. But I'm going to look up some inspiration on Pinterest, obviously. This one did not have a tag on it at all. And so I was like, okay, I also found this. <laughs> this sounds ridiculous, but like I'm sure gonna, I'm going to use all of these. We have so many shelves in here. Um, but so then I got this tray that's kind of like a true tray. I don't really know what you would use this for. Um, but so they're obviously very, very different, like the length, the shape, the thickness of it. Um, this one I was intending on putting on the shelf and then this one maybe on like a tablescape of some sort. Uh, but I really like adding in these warm tones into like what we already have in the apartment because I feel like it gives it a little bit more character, especially since everything in here is like very light toned i like to add in some darker elements so we're definitely doing that and then more of like a rougher element with the marble so i went and he looked this one up and i was like if it's too expensive then i'll just not take it and he was like oh it's 4.99 i was like put it in the bag <laughs> he was probably thinking i was a wacko but and then this one was on sale for nine so Honestly, the reason why I haven't decorated the shelves yet is because everything I see on Zara Home and H&M Home is pricier. Like they're at those $20 to $30 marks or like some of the vases are $40. And I'm like, I'm not spending that much money on like dressing shelves when like my next apartment might not even have shelves at all. And then I just have a bunch of empty crap. So this worked out really well. I think I got everything. So that was 12, 20. I think I got everything for like 30 bucks which is insane. So very happy. We did a nice little haul and 
Now for the rest of the night, I am shooting tomorrow with Avery, so I have to plan outfits and things. I'm gonna try to do that with you guys if I have time, but it is, I don't even know, what time is it? It's eight o'clock right now and I have to shower. Believe it or not, my hair is like three days old. Actually, you can't believe it, it looks really greasy. Um, and I have to plan all my outfits for tomorrow morning. I kind of have an idea and then adding in this blazer, obviously we're gonna shoot the blazer that we literally just got. And I have a couple other things that I have to shoot. So um, it should be pretty easy to put all that stuff together, but obviously like planning and packing a bag and everything is kind of a lot. And we're actually meeting at Cafe Kitsune tomorrow. So I'm very excited to go back to West Village and take you guys along with me because I know every single shoot I've been doing since I moved is in Soho and I really miss West Village. It's like my favorite, we almost lived there. I wish we could have lived there, but letting that go. Um, but we're gonna go back tomorrow morning. So just in case, and I'll cut this out if I end up doing outfits with you guys, but just in case, I will end off this episode of Vlogmas here and I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the homeware haul. I'm very excited to get all of the stuff out on the shelves and show you guys in maybe tomorrow's vlog. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I would absolutely love to have you here and I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.